It's your boy JP, man. And I want to send a special shout out to all you wonderful people out there. But before we get into today's show, I got to send another shout out to my videographer, Woodrow at Kaze Photography Videography. Matter of fact, Woodrow, come on in here. Let's talk to the people, man. What's up, what's up, what's up? How y'all doing? I'm Woodrow, also with Kaze Photography and Videography, known as Mr. Alpha Chain. Put a camera around his neck. It's all about investments. So for those of you wanting to take your commercials to the next level, man, holla at my guy Woodrow at Kaze Photography Videography. KazePV.com. Take that. You can go over there and book right now. Oh yeah. You heard the man. Alright, so on this episode, man, I want to share my testimony on how I accomplish this level of success that I have to this point. I have a long way to go, but I also am wise enough to appreciate and identify the level that I have come to. It was three years ago, guys, and I remember like it was yesterday, guys. It was three years ago. I birthed this thing, man, and I was just thinking, I'm like, man, I'm gonna start my own business. And I wanted it to be something that could be something powerful, man. I, I wanted it to be something that was bigger than me. And uh, that's how I came up with the name, Pan Family Home Improvements. But I wanna take y'all to the very first part of this whole process, man. And when I talk about this, man, it gets me a little pumped up, man, because it's not easy what I'm about to say, man. And uh, what I'm talking about today, I'm talking about energy, man. And uh, when I first started, I had to really identify these three steps and make it true to my life, man. And that first step was A, identifying the energy that I needed to produce the dreams and goals that I had in my head and that I wrote down on my pen and paper. Uh, and what ways that I did that, man, I started listening to motivational speakers well, like like Eric Thomas, uh, Tony Robbins, uh, Miles Monroe, uh, Inky Johnson, man, all type of people, man, that just pumped that good energy in me every day. And once they got me pumped up, I rode the wave off that energy and that was very good for me because every morning I would do that and it would kind of eliminate all the negative thoughts that I had and all the uh, the chatter I used to hear. I, you know, I used to hear a lot of people, you know, kind of talking. I used to hear the chatter about, oh man, that ain't gonna never work, paying family home improvements. Man, you, what, who are you? You, you the grocery manager at Publix. Come on, what, what are you gonna do? How are you gonna be the number one contractor in the world, man? So. That leads me to step two, man, uh, identifying that negative energy, man. So uh, it was hard, man. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, it was tough in the beginning, man, but I had to make a decision, man. Was I gonna live for myself or was I gonna allow people to affect my goals and affect my dreams? So once I uh, made that decision, man, and I moved forward in my life, everything just started becoming more and more clear to me, man. I started eliminating the energy drainers from my life. Uh, some people were close to me, some people were family members, some people was close friends. Uh, you know, when you start chasing your dreams, you'll really find out who supports you. You'll really find out who believes in you. You'll really find out who's really giving you that energy that you need to get closer to your dreams. So that's step two, man. Step three is just taking step one and step two, putting them together, man, and keeping it consistent because Identifying your energy and identifying the energy drainers, that's just the beginning. Once you identify that, you have to develop a plan, develop a way to keep that stuff away from you and then to draw in more of that energy that you need that's building you up. And then eventually, you have to get to a point, guys, where you don't need nobody. You don't need a motivational video. You don't need your mama to call you and say, come on, baby, you're, gonna, you're doing a good job out there. It's going to be so real to you. You can smell it. You can feel it, man. That's one thing about energy, man. You can, it's, it's contagious. And uh, I got it, man. And I just want to pass some of that energy to you guys. And if you guys could just really take heed to what I'm saying, and I know I'm, I'm, I'm going all over the place with this energy, man, because it, it just means that much to me. So we're going to do another recap. A, identify the energy you need to chase your dream. B, identify who are the energy drainers in your life and remove them. It's your sister. 
removal. So what? Your yeah. uncle? Bye bye. Your best friend? I'll let you, bro. Whoever gotta go, gotta go, man. You gotta want this thing, man. You gotta want it as bad as you wanna breathe, man. And and for me, this is my way out. And I was not gonna give up on my dream. And I'm encouraging you not to give up on your dream because just like me, you got something buried deep down inside of you. And the devil is gonna show and bring all type of distractions your way to try to keep you from fulfilling that dream that God has put deep, deep, deep inside of you. And uh, I'm gonna I'm kind of stop right there, man. I think you all get the gist of where I'm coming from, man. So. Let's identify those energy trainers, man. If you don't remember nothing else, you can build your energy anytime, but you gotta get rid of those energy energy drainers, man. You gotta get them out of your life, man. Or, and if that sounds too harsh, I'll use a better term. Instead of saying get them out of your life, let's reposition them. Because these people who are draining your energy, they don't care about what you got going on. They don't care that you want to be the number one contractor in the world. They don't care that you want to be the best beauty, uh, the beautician that you can be, or the best basketball player, or, or you know whatever it is, man. That dream is yours, man. Do you hear me, man? That dream is yours. That God didn't give that dream to your mama. He didn't give that dream to your auntie. He gave that dream to you. So nobody's gonna really understand and feel why you have this burning desire to do whatever it is that you're called to do. So keep your energy up, stay prayed up, keep God first, man. And that'll take you, that'll be something that'll help get you closer to your dream, man. Let's get rid of those energy drainers. All right, so that wraps it up for episode three of Motivational Snapshots. I hope you guys enjoyed the information that I shared with you guys. And hopefully I planted a seed somewhere to help you get closer to your dream. On another note, for all you needing home improvements, don't forget to reach out to us at Penn Family Home Improvements, number one contract in the world, and we'll take care of all of your home improvement needs. Until next time, I hope you guys have a blessed day.